Hello everyone, welcome to Zen Appeal, uh, located within Fit Appeal Studios. Uh, my name is Tanya. Uh, we are going to do uh, a little bit of chair yoga today. A little 20 minutes for those who are uh, beginning in yoga or maybe a little bit older, trying to get some movement into their body. And uh, we'll do just a nice little full body mindfulness practice, just checking in and uh, see where we're at. All right, so let's take a sit with our uh, chair. I just happen to have a mat, um, as you can see, down in the chairs in the center of the mat. So I'm gonna sit all the way back um, first and uh, check in with my posture and see how things feel, okay. So just sitting on your chair, just let the arms, hands rest on top of the thighs, and I'm just gonna lean all the way back. But have myself as back as I can be in the chair. I'm gonna close the eyes and just check in. I have my legs at a 90 degree angle, so hopefully your chair is uh, somewhat of the same. And just close the eyes and just take some nice uh, long inhale here. And an exhale. Open the eyes with a soft eye gaze. And the same thing, take breath, deep inhale. And exhale. So I want you to notice your posture here. So if you're sitting back in the chair, the chair's supporting you, it's supporting your core. So we're gonna actually um, sit a little bit taller and work our posture. So we're gonna move a little bit forward on my chair feet in front, hip width space in between the feet, parallel feet, everything's in line with my hips, right? So my spine, I'm straight up right now. Shoulders are back and down. I'm pulling the belly in, connected to my core, that's front and back of the body. I'm still resting the hands on top of the knees. Take a breath here, see what it feels like. Big breath in, just soft eye gaze. And out. Our breath is in and out the nose. Right, we'll take another in and out the nose. Big breath in. And out. So here I'm gonna release the arms down by my side body. Just let them hang. Still the shoulders are back and down. My heart is lifted, belly and long spine as best as I can be. So I'm gonna take a breath and reach the arms up. So inhale, arms come up checking in with my range of motion in my shoulders i'm trying to stay in line with my shoulders as best i can i feel my uh, spine torso and arms very long and straight together and then just release that the arms come all the way back down keeping the spine tall. and then here we're going to move the arms to the side so just halfway moving parallel to the earth with the, in line with the shoulders so inhale draw up Extend the energy out, fingers to fingers through the shoulders, belly in, exhale, release. So we're gonna take a twist with the arms. So it's just simply the arms and the shoulders are gonna take the movement. So inhale, the arms come up parallel. Keep going, here's the twist, palms together at the top. Maybe I shift the chest up and the eye gaze drops up or reaches up. And then exhale, center with the neck, open the arms, palms are up when I hit center, in line with the shoulders in reverse, palms down and down. So here, I'm gonna just check in with my uh, head and neck, chin to the chest. You just take an inhale, big circle to the right. Eyes can be soft here or closed. Back to center. We'll take the same thing to the left. So inhale, just drop chin to the chest and go around a big circle. Here to the shoulder, drop the head back best you can to the other shoulder, chin to the chest. And then neutral neck, neutral spine. So here are the shoulders, front and back, big circles. Take about three to five. 
And then we're gonna change directions back and forward. Yeah, see what it feels like. Again, three to five. And then here, hand, I'm gonna take my fingers, kind of like I'm, I'm playing the air. And then, like I'm trying to pinch or uh, grab the air. After a while, you'll notice um, you know, this takes actually quite a bit of energy. You'll feel your forearms start to get tired from trying to grab the air. Then here, just extend out. Just extend the palms, spread the fingers. Feel the strength that you feel within your forearms, just simply by extending out, finding space, just like a cat would. I'm gonna move energy into my feet. So I'll take one at a time. So again, you can rest the hands here, drop them down by your side body. I'm gonna rest them on top of the thighs. So take one leg, extend, and I'm just circling the foot about the ankle, maybe finding a little bit of toes here, and then changing the directions, go the other way. We're gonna take a pointed foot, which is plantar flexion, just like a ballerina would, pointed foot. We're gonna to start to pull back dorsiflexion, flexed, uh, with the toes moving up towards the knee. We'll take one more of those, inhale, reach forward, plantar flexion, then exhale, pull back. Okay. All right, good job, let's try the other leg. So I extend my leg out, and you can adjust yourself if you need to on your chair, of course. And then I'm just going to take the same thing, circle. So I'm going to circle out first, finding a little bit of toes if you can. Circle in. And it's three to five circles. Move through plantar flexion, pointed foot. Inhale, reach the foot. You get a little strength in the legs. Exhale, pull back, dorsiflexion. Toes towards the knees. We'll go again, inhale, point, exhale, pull back, and we release the leg all the way down. So here, I'm going to interlace the fingers and push out. I'm going to let my shoulders um, also reach and go uh, forward, protracting forward, and then pull back if I can, shoulders come together. And take one more of those, reach forward, shoulders protracting away from the center line, and pull back. Releasing the arms, take them up. Interlace the fingers, we push the arms up, extend out of the elbows here, and just neutral shoulder for a moment. And then take an inhale, reach, shoulders up. And then exhale down. Go so again, inhale, reach, lengthen more of your side body, and down, releasing the arms all the way down. So here, I'm gonna see if I can catch the back of the head with the hands. So you can just take one hand on top of the other, interlace the fingers. So from here, we can take an inhale to open up the shoulders, Open up the chest, maybe drop the head back or just lift higher. Exhale, come in, maybe a little ball shape here with this one. Inhale, a little bit of back bend here. Pull the belly in. Exhale, contract. Inhale, we take a neutral spine. Exhale, turn. So we're gonna take a little twist about the waistline. Yeah, twisting to the right. So hands can stay behind the head or maybe you want to catch your waistline, but remember you're probably going to maybe hit with one elbow of a hind when you turn. That's a possibility. So I'm gonna let my hands be higher, arms higher than the chair itself, back of the chair. So take breath in to grow tall on the spine and exhale, twist about the waistline. So don't worry about the lower body, just let the upper body twist to the right. See, that's a possibility today. Back to center, inhale, center, tall lift. Exhale, left side. 
take one more each side. Inhale, center, lift tall. Exhale, open right. Inhale, center, lift tall. Exhale, twist left. Back to center, inhale, release the arms. Exhale. So just check in, see how you feel. Try to stay tall in your spine, pull the belly in to support the back. So we're connecting to our core the whole time. We do our best. So from here, I'm gonna try to work a little twist with the arm reaching high. Also turning the head up high if I can. So we're gonna work the right diagonal corner. So think of a big uh, square uh, where you are sitting, right? You're kind of inside of the square. So if I'm gonna reach up, I'm gonna to reach towards my right top corner with one arm. And then same thing when we do left, it'd be left top corner, right? So prepare, inhale, right arm, reach, keeping the eye gaze with the hand as far as I can twist my upper body without worrying about the lower body and come back. Left side, same thing, left corner, diagonal top. Inhale, reach. Eye gaze stays with the hand. I do my best. Don't worry about the lower body. Exhale, come back. We'll go again, same thing. Tall spine, right side. Inhale, reach. Come back. One more, left side. Inhale, reach. And come back. Feels good to twist the body, doesn't it? Okay, so now we're gonna start to move a little bit more dynamically with that chair. We're gonna try to open up into a standing pose. So we're gonna try to find a little bit of a warrior two. So I'm gonna come back a little bit. Take my right leg leaning as best I can with the knee and the toes pointing to uh, just my right, to your right, and the left leg extending uh, from my hip to the side, my left. So as you can tell, it's a very open stance. And I'm just kind of checking in with myself. So if you need to have a leg dropping off of your chair, it's gonna be your back extended leg, right? It needs a little room, right? And your front one will be fairly supported by your chair. And so we just kind of check in with ourselves in this pose, pull the belly in. We try to open up our hips as best as we can towards uh, the front or facing out. Then I'm going to add the arms. Our arms are parallel to the earth. Yeah. Now I've closed palms, right? keeping the energy inside. Eyes towards right finger, reaching with the right leg. Wherever the right leg is pointing, so is my eye gaze with the right middle finger. Tall spine, see what it feels like. Take a nice breath in through the nose. And exhale, we take our elbow to the knee. And then I'm just gonna extend my left side body by reaching the left arm by the ear. And then my eye gaze, I'm gonna try to sit with the left hand. A nice stretch, I can feel it from fingers to foot all the way down. And then inhale, we come up, take the arms parallel to the earth. Then exhale, we're gonna come back to center. So just make your way back into sitting on the chair. Whatever you need to do to come back to our neutral stance, which is where we have been sitting, yeah? And take the same pose left. So left leg is gonna to open to my left, your left, of course. And then again, if you need a leg to drop off, it's gonna be your back leg. It needs room to get the, the angle. So our back, foot, the toes are pointing uh, towards the, the front or towards me, right? If you're facing the camera or whatever it is that you have, your phone, your whatever device. And our left side is uh, pointing to the left. The knee and the toes try to take the same direction. You can find some space in your left toes. Same thing on the right, find some space in the right toes. And then here, I try to open up my hips as best I can. Just kind of check in with myself first. Pull the belly in, support yourself. And from here, I'm gonna add the arms. 
nice parallel to the earth arms close palms in and eyes with the middle finger front hand left side is all we're following the left take breath left elbow left knee we do our best and we reach our right side so a straight line from right fingers arm all the way down into the leg so we're lengthening our right side body feels nice I gaze with the palm. Inhale, we come up, arms parallel to the earth again. I gaze is forward, left side. Exhale, pull in back to center. So you probably notice your hips a little bit there. So we're gonna take a little bit of a, a hip stretch. So this one, you may have to actually take a little leaning back onto your chair to get this to happen. So we have a little right leg cross on top of the left. So this is going to be a stretch for the right hip and glute, the leg that's on top. So from there, sitting all the way back, we just kind of check in. What you don't wanna feel is pain on the inside of the knee here. So you just kind of have to judge. You may even need to scoot further away and just kind of open up the angle here, right? Think of if your torso is a straight line and your legs are a straight line, right? That 90 degree angle, we're trying to open that up, right? And just make it a little bit longer, 90 degree and longer, right? Sometimes we need more space because the hip is tight. So for me, I can actually move a little bit more forward. So I'm gonna come up nice and tall and I can fold on top of the leg if that's a possibility. So maybe it's just a lean forward, take breath, lean forward. So if you have more to give here, you can just keep going, just, just gauge. Remember, trying to not feel pain here inside of the knee. Just gauge, you wanna feel the, the stretch or the sensations in the right hip. All feels good. I'm just gonna let my hands come down to the earth. And you can bring uh, blocks in here on the earth if you're taking a deep fold or anywhere in between, right? All right so gently, inhale, come up. Exhale, release the right leg. So we'll do the same with the left. So we start with the lean back. We just kind of check in. So for some of you, we have to have a lean back just to let the hip stretch. You want to check in with the inside of the knee here. We don't want to feel anything going on here. So it feels pretty good. I start to move into a 90 degree angle torso, thighs, right? And then we have our shins here, right? Eventually we're trying to get to that fold. All right, so here, don't feel any pain here. I feel all the sensations in the hip where I'm supposed to feel. So I take a breath and I'm just going to go forward and see how it feels. So this side, I feel definitely a lot more sensations in the hip with external rotation. This is external rotation. If I can still get my hands down to the earth. I just know that this is a stretch that my body needs, especially on this side. It's always good to have that awareness at all times when you're practicing your yoga, no matter what kind of yoga it is. Great stretch. Hands uh, prepare to come up. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, we release. Okay. So from here, we're going to move into uh, a little bit of balance. We're going to check in um, supported with our chairs. So just rise up, inhale, and exhale off to the side. So I take my chair and I turn sideways. So I don't want to be where I'm at a place where I have to hold here so much to uh, be supported in a balance. I'm trying to find a, a little bit of less support and more of, of connecting to my body. So just gonna keep it simple with the tree pose. So whatever side is, is closest to the chair is gonna be the one that stays grounded. So the outside, we're going to move the leg. So it's gonna be right side first. External rotation here, knee to the side. So we don't want to sink in the hip on the left side, right? This is kind of like a, a jazz position, like Bob Fosse or something like that. We're trying to 
come up nice and tall. All right, just have parallel left foot, come up nice and tall and tuck your hips under, pull the belly, tall spine, shoulders are back and down. So I'm connected to core, my center, front and back. Strong left side. So I don't have much weight in my left, right? It's mostly in my, uh, in my right leg. It's mostly in my left leg. And then my hand is here just in case I need it. So I'm trying not to feel too grippy. So from here, I'm gonna check in, see what this feels like. So I can catch waistline. Normally we do a little bit of prayer hands. So maybe you can come here if you feel like the balance is okay today. Left side, most of the, most of the weight is. Right side, not so much. So maybe you wanna come up a little bit higher. We can take the foot to the shin. Remember, long side on the left, pull the belly in. Find your focal point. So again, maybe you catch the waist if you need to hold on, or try a little prayer hands. Keep your focus. I got a little bit of struggle on my left side. And release, so you're not the only one. <laughs> Sometimes it is what it is. So we come up a little bit higher. So this one um, requires flexibility. So for, for some of you, this might not be a possibility, which is absolutely fine. We do what we can do when we find the mat. Every day is different. So if you can come here, please do. Maybe it's a hold on thing, right? If you wanna try the balance, you can come up high here or maybe take one of the bottom two that we just did. Focus. And release. Let's check in with the other side. So I change my chair. And I'm on the other side. So just kind of check in and see what it feels like. So remember, we're not trying to be completely supported on top of the chair. We're trying to find some place, right? Some medium balance place, some, some balance with the scales. So first external rotation, left leg this time, tucked under tall. Remember, no, no Bob Fosse jazz, jazz hip here. Nice and tall, maybe a little spreading of the toes on the earth if that works for you. And on the waist, light left foot on the floor. Maybe I take hands to the heart, hold, three, two, and one, release. So then maybe we try the foot to the shin. The left knee's pointing to the side, so again, catching waist or prayer hands. Hold, three. So first or second, or coming all the way up for the big one, all the way up for a full chair, or a full tree, excuse me. Tucked under, no sinking hip, right? We want to move away from something like this. Nice and tall, you can tell you're supported on top of the right leg. Don't push on your knee ever. That's not anything that we do. It's above or below the knee. So either catching the waist, holding onto the chair, or prayer hands, hold three. Two, one, and we release. Good job. Coming back to sitting on the chair. I start to wind it down. So we just check in with how we feel with our bodies. A little stretch of the shoulder, both sides. We'll take left hand across, pull in. Maybe go chin to the chest to hold three, two, and one, release. Other side, same thing. Try to catch above or higher than the elbow if possible. Chin to the chest, hold here, three, two, Finishing off with some breath, reaching the arms down by the side body. Pull the belly in, find your posture. Inhale up. We get the little twist where the palms come together at the top. Exhale, hands with the heart. And release the arms again. Take one more of those. Inhale up. Prayer hands at the top. Exhale, release. 
Soft eye gaze here, take a breath in. And release. And thank everyone for joining me today. I hope uh, this practice serves you in some way. Just a, just a checking in with the body to see how we feel. It's good to do every now and again. Until next time, uh, keep moving, keep breathing. All my love. Namaste.